In this question, we are asked to find the electric flux through the surface colored in silver here. Electric flux is symbolized by the Greek letter phi subscript E in this chapter. We can see that the electric flux is simply the magnitude of the electric field multiplied by the area of the surface and then multiplied by a particular angle. It's important to understand that when obtaining this angle, that we first will need to draw a vector perpendicular to the area. So let's come over to the diagram and see what that looks like. Let's say we select a point right here at the surface and in order to draw a vector that's perpendicular to the area we would have to draw a vector that goes straight up because then that would be perpendicular to this surface area in the diagram. The angle that we need lies between that vertical line and this electric field vector. So in other words, we need to find this angle right here between that vertical line and this electric field vector. The angle they gave us was actually between the electric field and the surface. That's not the correct angle. It was given as 65 degrees in the question. To find the proper angle, we will simply subtract 65 degrees from 90 and that's because again this angle from here all the way down to there is a 90 degree angle so to get the red colored angle we will just subtract 65 from 90 and of course when we do that we get 25 degrees and that's all there is to it we just now plug into the formula we have the electric flux equals the electric field which is 435 newtons per coulomb multiplied by the area, 3.5 meters squared, and then multiplied by the cosine of that angle. Make sure your calculator is set to degree mode when you do this. When you multiply this out, you should get about 1380. And now the unit will be newtons times meters squared per coulomb, as you can see in the setup. So newton times meters squared per coulomb. This is the correct answer to the question.